transportation network companies such as Uber and Lyft are still illegal in Austin. The final vote from the city council was put off mainly due to insurance requirements that suggested each driver must have primary commercial insurance at all times. And what Uber is looking to do is become one of many options to help with that transportation infrastructure and to provide people with opportunities to get around the city and not feel like they have to drive drunk. The Yellow Cab president says that TNCs haven't proven to be real competition, but there need to be regulations. The three local cab companies have been asking for more cab permits with the understanding that there was a need on the supply side. Uh, so it was unfortunate to see a group come in and break the law to essentially prove that point. Many Austinites are unable to find a ride home after drinking. Transportation network companies are hoping to legally provide more rides around the city. Both TNCs and taxi companies want to make sure people in Austin always have a safe way to get where they are going. Every time a city is able to get those companies up, up and running, the, the, uh, the, the level of drunk driving measurably decreases. Uh, it's, it's a matter of public safety. It's a matter of actually saving lives. The final vote on the legalization of TNCs is set for October 16th. Tierra Newbaum, Texas News Watch.